Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what I consider to be perhaps one of the most important objects in the entire synagogue, and that's the charity box, the box for tzedakah. Uh, this is uh, a place where people contribute to the welfare and support uh, of the congregation, uh, but most importantly to the needy uh, within the congregation. And this, of course, played an incredibly important role historically uh, within the synagogue. Uh, in fact, there are five of these boxes uh, in the synagogue. There's four uh, that are right by the entranceway uh, onto the main floor, and then another one is you make your way up to the ladies' gallery. Uh, we know that these boxes date back to the late 18th century, probably installed somewhere around 1780. Uh, and it seems that originally there would have been, uh, they would have been a bit further up along the, the pillars on the synagogue, on, on one on each side, or perhaps two uh, on the side, and then uh, also upstairs in the ladies' gallery on each side uh, as well. You can see them uh, in the, the famous uh, etching by uh, Isaac Mendes Belisario, uh, where you can see them kind of just along uh, the pillar uh, on the left side. Um, but clearly at some point they were, uh, they were brought uh, downstairs um, and placed in this kind of entranceway uh, position. And uh, they would have been designated for different charities within the community. Uh, this one, uh, you can actually read it, it says Board of Guardians. Uh, the Board of Guardians was established in 1837 as a separate charity to carry out the... Uh, the welfare responsibilities of the Parnassim, of the community uh, at large. In a future video, we'll talk more about the Parnassim as they are today um, and, and historically, um, but one of the things they did in 1837 was to create a separate kind of charity that would be responsible for distributing funds to uh, the needy within uh, the community. Uh, today, the group within the community that's responsible for that is known as the Welfare Board, and we'll talk a bit more uh, about them later. Um, but I've chosen to speak about this with you today because we're really at the time of year uh, when uh, charity is so uh, central, we're about to celebrate the festival, uh, the holiday of Purim, uh, and uh, there is a special mitzvah on that holiday of Matanot Avionim, the distribution of uh, charity to uh, the poor. And the practices is to want to make a contribution on the holiday to give enough money to pay for meals for two different people. Uh, so think about that as maybe 20 pounds, uh, something, uh, something like that. Uh, and uh, it's an important time that the community still today collects charity to distribute. Um, normally we collect it in the synagogue itself um, however, being that we're not going to have uh, live services here at Bevis Marks, uh, we're asking people, please make those donations uh, online. Uh, and it's so important that you do that. You imagine how many people are suffering this year through loss of work and income. Um, and so if you can, please uh, make that donation online. I'm going to be putting the link uh, to our Welfare Board uh, donations uh, in the description of this video, and you can go on there uh, and make your contribution, and those donations will be distributed on Friday, on the day uh, of Purim. Uh, in fact, uh, historically on Purim, uh, the uh, wardens or the Parnassim of the community would walk around with three silver plates. Um, the plates are still in the collection of the synagogue, um, though today we use uh, non-historic ones. Uh, perhaps one day we'll use the historic ones uh, again. Uh, and those plates were for three different things. One of them was for the Matanot Avionim, the gifts to the poor. Uh, one was the Machzit shekel, which is a uh, historic contribution that would have been made in temple times, the half shekel contribution to the upkeep of the, uh, the temple. Uh, in fact, we read it uh, bef the, bef the Shabbat before the month of Adar, uh, that uh, reading in the synagogue, and it's a reminder to give uh, those annual contributions, and so they would have gone around collecting those. Uh, and then there was a third plate that was donations for uh, the, uh, the community uh, more broadly. Uh, and so there would have been three plates uh, going around uh, for contributions on, uh, on Purim. Uh, and so uh, today we have several of these boxes around, and they're for different purposes. Some are for the upkeep of the synagogue, its restoration. Some go towards uh, welfare uh, within the community. But it really is, of course, uh, one of the most important uh, functions 
of a Jewish community is uh, making sure that all people are cared for and taken care of. And certainly within the Spanish and Portuguese, there is a plethora of uh, different charities, uh, historic and contemporary, that continue to carry on uh, those important uh, functions. Uh, and particularly, as I said, during this time of year, we make a special focus uh, to, to do so. Uh, and uh, on those historic silver plates, it actually has a, uh, a versicle. It quotes the line of uh, Tzedakah Tatzil Mi Mavet, that charity uh, saves one from death. And uh, of course, it is a, uh, our belief that through good deeds, uh, one hopefully uh, uh, earns divine protection. And as this uh, pandemic continues, uh, we hope that our good deeds, our charity work, and so forth should protect us, all our loved ones, in fact, uh, everyone uh, throughout the community. And so I wish everybody a Purim Sameach, a very happy and uh, joyous Purim.